What's going on, Weekend Hangover Nation? I'm your boy, Surf, and I'm back. I'm back with another episode of Hey, I'm Still Available. And today I'm talking about Marcel Darius. He's a defensive tackle, 30 years old, 10-year NFL vet out of Alabama. Remember way back in 13, 14, between those two seasons, when Darius was on the short list for best interior lineman in the entire league? He was an absolute force from the inside with the Bills. Then he fizzled out before being traded to the Jaguars for pennies for a six-round draft pick. With the arrival, with his arrival in Jacksonville, Darius signed a four-year, $23 million deal. After two very disappointing years in Florida, the Jaguars have moved on from Darius. Let's look back for a second at Darius's 2013 and 2014 seasons. In that two-year span, he recorded 17 and a half sacks, 120 tackles, 20 of them for a loss. Like I said, an interior force. His three seasons in Jacksonville add up to two and a half sacks, 65 tackles, and only four of those for a loss. The worst part of the whole Darius Jacksonville failure was the extreme, extremely high hopes when he landed in the town. When he signed, it, it would just everyone expected him just to add to the force that already was that Jacksonville defensive line. Surrounded by insane talent, they expected him to excel with less snaps. Kind of like, kind of the philosophy of, you know what I mean? If you're only out there for 30% of the snaps, you get that full effort on there, as opposed to being out there for 80%. So, ultimately, his time in Jacksonville ended on the IR, then it ended up on the streets. So this raises the question, is Marcel Darius done? All signs are pointed to yes. It's been five seasons since he was a force. Injuries and just lackluster play have really sapped all the hype around Darius. But a player of his size and pedigree is going to have a job in 2020. So where? Here at the Weekend Hangover, we've decided a great fit for the veteran big man is Oakland. No, not because that's where careers go to die. <laughs> no, it's because it's an ideal fit. The youth movement on the outside has been served with second-year players Farrell and Crosby. And both could really benefit from the addition of some interior penetration. Something that Darius can do, at least has done in the past. Plus, there's literally nothing of note in the Raiders' interior D-line. It doesn't impress me at all. Darius walks in day one as the best option. So, alright guys, it's been another weekend hangover production. I'm your boy Surf. Hit us up with a comment, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Catch you guys later. Peace.